So now that we have discussed about areas of plane figures, we are also going to enter into the three-dimensional concept of finding the surface area of a cube or a cuboid. We all know what a cube or a cuboid is. It is in the form of a box. Now we will see how we can find the area and volume of cube and co cuboids in this session of the topic. Now when we enter into the areas of plane figures, the areas obtained in plane figures were all two-dimensional structures, hence it was easier to find in case of 2D structures. Now what is a three-dimensional structure? Why do we call a cuboid as a three-dimensional structure? Because you can handle it in hand and hang it in air. So a three-dimensional subject is something which you can feel it. But a two-dimensional subject or a two-dimensional plane figure is only something which you can draw on a sheet of paper, but you cannot take that out in the air. So this is how I differentiate between a 2D or a three-dimensional structure. So in this case, I have drawn the three-dimensional structure of a cuboid or a box. So let me take a box which has the open cap which can be closed and this has the dimensions length, breadth and height. Now when I just open this box, when I just tear the, each of the edges and then I open, I get this kind of a shape where the open top is obtained like this and the down part is obtained down here. And each of the six, four faces down are taken in this form as in each of the case of a box face opened up opens in this manner. So the face in the front is this, the face in the side is this and the face which is opposite to that on the other side is this and the face on the left of the side is this and the open top is this and the down open cap is this. So this is how I obtain the box when it is open and put flat on the ground. So let's try to find the area of this cuboid indirectly by finding each of the areas of the blocks as we have done in case of two dimensional plane figures like a quadrilateral a survey of the field. We have just divided them into blocks and we found the areas and then we summed up we got the area of the entire field. Similarly, I'll find the area of each of the regions and then sum up to get the area of the entire cuboid, the surface area of the entire cuboid. So this is how the concept runs. But before this, because the length of the cuboid is L, breadth is B and height is H, let's try to divide each of the regions with their respective dimensions. Now as this is L and this is the front face of the box, this would also be L. Now this is width B, so because this side face is just the strip this, so therefore this would be the dimension B. And in that case, the one which is at the back will be L because whatever is the dimension of the front face will also be for the back face. So this will be L, this will be B, L and when this is B, even the left side of the face will have its dimension as B. Now similarly, when I just go through, when this is L, this is also L, hence this will be L and this would be B and with similar dimensions as L and B. But what will this be? Because the height of the box is H, when you open, the height maintains its constancy. Therefore, this would be the height of the box, which would be H as taken from the cuboid dimensions. So as you got the dimensions of each of the case, where this is H, so this will also be H. Now I have totally five, six regions where this is region 1, R1, R2, R3, R4, R5 and R6. But what would this dimension be? Now because this is B, this is L and this is B, this will also be B with L. When this is L, this would be dimension B, the width and this would also be dimension B. So taking each of the regions with the diagrams, so I have to find area of region R, the region R1 is nothing but a rectangular strip as can be seen here with L and H. So therefore <coughs> my H and L will give me the area of rectangle but this is nothing but area of R1 is nothing but area of rectangle which is nothing but length into width which is LH. Therefore my area of region R1 is LH. So let's find area of region R2. 
as I can clearly see my region R2 is also a thinner strip with my width as B and my height as H. So this would be B and this would be H. Therefore, area of R2 is nothing but area of rectangle but this being with dimensions B and H will be length into breadth which is B into H that is BH. So this would be area of region R2. So let's also find region R3. Now as I see in R3 is also I can clearly see that area of region R1 will be nothing but area of region R3. Both are same. As I can see here both are of similar strips. So area of region R1 is equal to area of region R3 and area of region R2 is equal to area of region R4. Therefore, area of region R3 will be nothing but area of region R1 which is already obtained from here as LH, the same dimensions. Similarly, when I take R4, I have area of region R4 is nothing but area of region R2 which is already obtained in the previous case as BH. Therefore, I get this as area of region R2. If I take a box and take the opposite side, then I get the same. So I get this to be region R2, which is BH. And hence, we got R1 to R4. Now, area of region R5 is equal to area of region R6 because when you take the box, the upper and the lower areas are similar. So let's find the area of region R5. So for this, my region R5 is a rectangle with the dimensions L and B. So therefore, that implies area of region R5 is nothing but a rectangle with its dimensions length into breadth. So this is area of rectangle with the dimensions length into breadth. So I get LB as the area of the region R5. But because the region R5 and region R6 are with similar areas, therefore my R6 is with equal area as that of region R5. Therefore, area of region R6 is nothing but area of region R5, which we already calculated in the previous case as LB. Hence, I get this to be LB. Now, I have totally six regions whose areas have been calculated starting with region R1 which is LH, R2 is BH, R3 is LH, R4 is BH, R5 is LB and R6 is LB. Now if I add all these six regions, I get the surface area of the cuboid, the total surface area of the cuboid which is nothing but when taken joined back gives me a box with the open with the upper and down lid closed. So this is how I get the cuboid by summing up each of the areas. So let's see what would be the formula which I derive for total surface area of a cuboid by adding each of its area. Therefore, the total surface area of a cuboid is obtained by adding each of the areas from R1 to R6 regions which we have obtained in each of the cases separately. So TSA is nothing but total surface area of a cuboid which includes all the six faces on the side and even on the top and the bottom is of a cuboid would be nothing but areas of region R1, R2, R3, R4 to R6, R1 to R6. Then when I just simplify this, I have LH plus BH plus LH. So I just get LH plus BH plus LH plus BH plus LB plus LB. Now as I see each of the LH is two times, each of the BH is two times, each of the LB is two times. So I can write this as two times of LB plus BH plus LH. Each of the twice two taken out and the remaining written out here. So this is how I get the TSA of the cuboid where the total surface area of a cuboid with length L, breadth B and height H is given by the formula 2 times of LB plus BH plus LH. 
as obtained from a two dimensional plane figure. So a three dimensional cuboid is just separated in the form of a sheet and each of its region area is calculated and all the areas regions are summed up so that I get the total surface area of a cuboid. Now when we discuss about three dimensional structures we use the word surface for area. We say area of a quadrilateral but I don't say surface area of a quadrilateral surface area of a trapezium. We just call them as area of trapezium. But when I come to cube or a cuboid, I use the word surface because a three-dimensional structure is assumed with its outer surface. So therefore, surface area is the word used for three-dimensional structures. Hence, the total surface area of a cuboid is 2 times LB plus BH plus LH unit square. A cuboid a three-dimensional structure with its own area as in case of areas of plane figures areas of three-dimensional structures is what we are discussing in the present session now as we have seen the cuboid this represents a three-dimensional cuboid shape so let's see how a total surface area or a lateral surface area is differentiated from this particular box now this is a cuboid if I assume this to be length this would be breadth and this is height so L, B and H. So using these three dimensions as we have taken here in case of this similar figure out here on the board. Now I have L, B and H for which the total surface area was just split with six different regions when this box was open cut and put on a flat table. Now let's see how the lateral surface area is also calculated using the similar dimensions. Now what is the difference between a total surface area and a lateral surface area? So lateral surface area is the area which covers the lateral faces. Now what are the lateral faces in case of this cuboid? If I take these faces which are facing towards, those are the lateral faces. If the open, the upper part and the down part are the open of the box and the down off is removed, then this forms an open cuboid for which the lateral surface area can be calculated. So lateral surface area includes phase 1, phase 2, phase 3 and phase 4. It doesn't include this and this. So this is how I understand the lat difference between the lateral surfaces and the total surfaces. So the, we, as we all know that the cuboid has 6 faces, 4 lateral and 1 on the top and 1 on the bottom. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So with these 6 faces, I get the total surface area of a cuboid but with only the four lateral faces, I get the lateral surface area of a cuboid. So let's see how only the lateral surface area is calculated. Because the up and the down part is not included, for a lateral surface area, I do not include R6 and R5. Because R5 and R6 are obtained for the regions on the top and on the bottom, which I do not include in case of lateral surface area. So let's take... lateral surface area this which includes lateral faces only this includes only the lateral faces 1 2 3 and 4 so therefore LSA of a cuboid is obtained simply by adding all the four lateral faces R1, R2, R3 and R4 as can be identified here R1, R2, R3 and R4 which are added at once it is nothing but areas of region R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 the reason here since they do not include include top and bottom faces. The top and the bottom faces are not included in finding the lateral surface area of a cuboid. So in this case, area of the region R1 which is already calculated to be LH and region R2 which is calculated to be BH and region R3 which is calculated clearly here as again 
similarly as LH and this similarly as BH, I get 2 times of LH plus BH or 2H into L plus B. This is how I find the LSA of a cuboid and the TSA of a cuboid which are calculated using these two concepts. So sometimes the question can also be where find the surface area of a cuboid where one of the top is open. I have only the bottom. So in this case I add the region R5 to the lateral surface area then I get one of this included. If I want the total surface area I include even this top that is I include even this area R6 and then I get the total surface area of a cuboid. So depending on the question whether it's an open box or a two-sided open box or the completely closed box we are going to find accordingly by cutting the region into different regions as blocks and then finding the area of each of the block respectively and hence we get the lateral surface area and the total surface area of a cuboid for the given dimensions L, B and H. L, B and H. A cuboid area can easily be found using the formula.